Oh, I'm back again. This time I've rebuilt now, taken my Black Ops out. I've got a Rampage Extreme 2. Uh, it doesn't have the USB 3. I'm not too perturbed about that. Or the new hard drive speeds. No, acetone. Not too bugged about that because you can get a plug-in card. What is concerning me is with this loop that I have, my temperatures tend to rise slightly higher than what you're reading at the moment. They go over 42.50. Uh, the place is a bit of a mess, but uh, I'm still building. But I've got the system up and running out of the Corsair. That's one of the hot, hot swap bays. Okay, that comes from here. There we go, we've got four in there. Again, system very much the same. Okay. Inside is the little baby. I I got this very, very cheap, so I jumped at buying it. An overclock on the fly. I'm using dual channel rip jaws. Uh, that's a high flow EK block, the new one that was just launched. Quite pleased with that. The sound card is, is very good that comes with this package as well. And then the coolant water block that I'm using, I've got this off eBay. There she is under there. Nickel and copper. This will be going into a secondary loop. So I'll just have one loop running this uh, on the north and south bridge. There will be a water block going across there up to the QPI where the ROG logo is because the North Bridge has a bit of a hot spot on it so to keep it cool. Up here as you can see I just have this fan running air down onto the back of the top of the graphics card just for the time being. Uh, again radiator up above, tri radiator. Uh, the Corsair 140mm fans aren't that powerful they need to be changed. You can see the power supply at the bottom. I need to replace that. It's a little bit too short. I need one of the extended ones. Extra fan for pulling cool air in. Ramming it up into this 140mm Corsair. I then added a secondary fan there, as you can see. That's in there. And that's pumping it into the lower hard drive cage. I have a IDE in there. But I'm very pleased that uh, I purchased this. The CPU I'm using is the i7-930 and just fiddling and playing with it now I'm clocking out 4 gigahertz. Again, temperature's not too bad now because I've got all the case covers off. But uh, very very pleased with the board, a super board might be a bit expensive but um, I'm quite happy that I've done this I'm not too perturbed about as I said earlier not having the USB 3 and the hard drive extra speed that's available I'm not too worried the case itself is, is amazing